CCTV security cameras in Gikomba market as part of the solutions to curb the perennial fires in the market. The government will also provide compensation to 400 households who have been displaced after their properties were destroyed. Eli Logova tells us more. The early Thursday morning fire raised down a section of Gikomba market, leaving owners of business counting losses as they were unable to rescue their properties. The government has now launched investigations to identify individuals believed to be behind the current burning down of property at Gikomba market. The government is also considering relocating Gikomba traders to other markets. We urge uh, to be cooperative with the security agencies, with our intelligence agencies, so that we can at last uh, bring uh, these guys who uh, caused this uh, to book and face justice. But in the meantime, the government will provide compensation to nearly 400 households who were displaced after their properties were destroyed in Thursday's fire incident. We will uh, do the final infrastructure around here, a perimeter wall, so that we isolate. And we are uh, promised by the uh, community here that this is a, a building that is going to absorb. Uh, in the upward of 10,000 of uh, the people here. Small business owners who were hard hit by the fire were left staring at their properties as they went up in smoke. The tragedy that has hit Gikomba market once again has left these traders counting losses amounting to millions of shillings and now seeking answers from the government as to who is responsible for these perennial fires. Eli Logova. TV 47 from Gikomba Market in Nairobi.